What's up everyone and thank you for stopping by the channel. Today's project is this Husqvarna trimmer and the problem is I was put up for years with fuel in the tank and now of course it won't start. Let's take a good look at it, find out what's wrong with it and hopefully we can fix it. In this video, we try and repair this trimmer. However, it may not be the exact repair you need to make to yours. We'll explore other options later in the video. This trimmer is in great shape. Also, this is not an entry level trimmer with many considering them to be high end residential equipment. Although I don't see many of them on lawn care trailers, I wouldn't mind having one for heavy home use. Now it's unfortunate that this one was put up with fuel in the tank, but I've even done it too, just not for very long. Now it did come to us with fuel in the tank, but I hung it on the wall, which should have been fine, but all the fuel leaked out of the tank for some reason. Otherwise, we would be examining the fuel's condition. I do recall that the fuel's color was very dark. That means that the gas portion was evaporating away and leaving just the oil behind. I want to begin by testing the engine's compression. An easy test for the compression is to slowly pull on the rope and feel how much the engine fights back. And luckily for us, it's fighting back pretty well, but this is just a rule of thumb. A better option would be to use a compression tester. Now you can buy one online or at the parts store, but I would suggest borrowing one instead. Just remove the spark plug and screw the tester into the engine. We're looking for a number over 50 PSI, and if it's under 50 PSI, it's a bit worn out and it might be tricky to start. And if it does start, it'll be down on power. Now remember to squeeze the throttle and then pull the rope a couple of times. Well, the reading is 50 PSI, which means it's on the border of running and being difficult to start. It is worth fixing though, so I'm going to unscrew the tester and put some fuel into the spark plug hole and then try starting it. So it ran for a bit, which is a great sign. It's at this point now we can decide to either put some fuel in the tank and try starting it or tear into the carburetor and inspect it. I'm going to start it instead because this is the easiest thing to do. Now if it runs and dies or the primer won't fill up with fuel when pressing it, we'll need to look at the carburetor for a problem. Well, for being low on power, it still seems to work just fine. It looks as though the old stale gas didn't do any damage to the carburetor, which is very fortunate for us. Now, if it didn't start, I would consider rebuilding the carburetor or replacing it altogether. The next thing I want to do is check out that fuel leak. It didn't leak out of the fuel cap that much I know, so I want to remove the top cover and see if there's a crack somewhere or if one of the fuel lines is even loose. So I don't see any obvious problems. The primer line isn't cracked or leaking, but if you look at the top of the tank, you can see two small fuel grommets. They're soft and spongy, so that's where the leak is coming from, and they'll need to be replaced later on as I'll have to order them. Just as a side note, the fuel adjustment screws have these orange plastic caps that hit this roll pin on the carburetor. You'll need to remove these caps in the future if you want to make any major adjustments. For those who are curious, I am going to inspect the spark arrestor screen on the muffler. Now, without even removing it, I'll use a flashlight on the screen, and you can see the metal of the muffler behind it so it's very clear of any carbon. 
In the end, this trimmer took this long storage extremely well, other than needing some grommets to be replaced. Now, it is believed that high-end trimmers like this one take long storage very well as compared to cheap trimmers, but I've never tested that idea myself. So my question is, do you believe the idea that expensive trimmers can take extremely long storage, even when done improperly, better than the cheap trimmers under the same conditions? I know how I feel about it, but I'm more curious about your answer. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate your time. Please feel free to ask any questions, and I hope to see you in my next video.